Hi everyone. How you guys doing? Okay, good to see you guys again. All right, welcome to today uh, this very special webinar. And wow, so many of you here joining here today. So let me check. Okay, at this moment we have 1400 attendees. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Yeah, I know that some of you here join from different parts of the world and it's my privilege to be your uh, instructor for today to share with you some parts of information that I believe that will help you to actually understand the subject better and more importantly, will help you to improve a certain aspect of your life. How about that today? Okay, I got to make sure your time are well spent here. Okay, no matter where you are. Okay, I think there's a power of our technology, right? So no matter where you are, we still can actually uh, learn something together, share something together. And guess what? Today, I'm in a great mood. Okay, so whenever I'm in great mood, I tend to share more information. So better make sure that you have a, a cup of coffee with you. Okay, all right. Okay, so can you, uh, do you have, uh, yeah, I hope all of you here have uh, high energy today. Yeah, so I have a lot of things to share. I also don't know which one to share first. Yeah, but let's see how. Yeah, see how let's this uh, play out later on. Because I've been told that there are a different group of people here. Some of you are beginner. Some of you are expert, right? So, and I try to strike a balance here. So both of this group here will also able to benefit from this. Okay, so um, why not uh, we start this by you typing in uh, which country you're from in the chat box right now. Okay, type it in the chat box right now and remember to set your chat box to everyone so everyone can uh, see your messages here. Okay, nice. Okay, cool. Malaysia, Singapore, Switzerland, Thailand, Germany, Australia, Singapore, Poland. Wow, so fast. <laughs> Sydney, Singapore, Mexico, USA, Ecuador, Ireland, Switzerland, Spain, Croatia, East Malaysia, France. Nice. Canada, Okay, well, Malaysia, okay, Romania, Florida. Okay, yeah, I like Florida. Okay, so and, uh, Belgium, India, nice. Okay, London. I love London. You know, so I, I went there two years ago and then I ate one of the best uh, lobster noodle in my life. I still can remember the taste. Too bad right now I cannot travel. Yeah, wait for the pandemic to over first. Okay, yes, lobster noodles. <laughs> okay, all right. So, okay, today, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, see how can we actually uh, start this here. Okay, so uh, for some of you are very new to this, probably this is the first time you are seeing me. Uh, let me just do a brief introduction uh, here. My name is Iverson Lee. I'm a, I'm a consultant from Joe Yap Consulting Group. So I, if you're wondering what I do on my daily life, I actually uh, work with a lot of uh, people. So uh, like a con in a consultation uh, format here. So I work with people one-on-one -on -one, uh, and they are from different walks of life. Like uh, they could be a business tycoon, entrepreneurs, professionals, students, and also homemaker as well, right? So these are a group of people that I work with. And the, sub the system that I use to actually uh, work with them is Bazi, Feng Shui, you might heard about Feng Shui or Chima Dunjia. These are the tools that I use to give my client a certain guidance and insight on what they do uh, in their journey yeah, to achieve something. How many of you here want more guidance? You want to see the, the direction. So at least it's a path that worth fighting for. I think everyone needs this, right? Yeah, so we, because you see, right, we, we, do, we have limited time in this uh, world right now. So we don't want to go to a path after 10 years only, we know, oh, I shouldn't do this, right? It's a wrong path, right? So we have to actually ensure that we're in the right uh, direction. So this is uh, what I actually uh, use Chinese metaphysics uh, to help my clients. And of course, yeah, before that happened, I actually use this to help myself first. So I use a lot of parts of Chimen Feng Shui. So, and um, as I actually progress throughout this journey of using Chinese metaphysics, my perspective about parts also changed because I see that, you know, uh, how does actually the essence of parts. Because especially when you start to learn parts or whatever Chinese metaphysics subjects, we learn it literally, right? For example, like if you see someone parts chart, don't have wealth elements, 
what do you think? Oh, I'll be broke for the rest of my life. Right? So how many of you here actually have this sort of like, you got a shock. Oh my God, right? My child, what, how come I don't have valve elements? How many of you here discovered this process? What is your feeling during that time? You feel happy? How many of you here actually discovered that? Oh, you feel shocked, right? And, uh, and um, let me tell you, that is the most beautiful experience you will ever, uh, uh, ever actually going through because that is a, a, a path or I would say a bit of parcel of learning parcel, right? So, and all, I also been shocked as well because I discovered that some of my uh, client charts also don't have wealth element, right? So I feel, oh, how can I help them? Right, so how can I actually help them through? I cannot tell them lies, of course. I need to tell them that there's absence of wealth element in their chart. Yeah, but the thing here is, yeah, the absence of the wealth element doesn't mean absence of wealth. Yeah, that is a part I discovered later on. Yeah, because at first I feel pity with them. I don't know how to tell them. And then I discovered I've seen more and more charts yeah, that, uh, that have zero element, but they are freaking rich. Yeah, so now I cannot argue with that. Why? Because there's a live person standing in front of me and talking to me and, and they, are, they are multi-millionaires and they are billionaires, right? So therefore, we discover that uh, it's not that parcel is not accurate. It's not about that, but it's more on, you know, how we interpret parcel because as a human nature, we are very visual, right? Anything we cannot see, yeah, it means that it's not that. Agree, guys? Right? So therefore, we use the same principles of analyzing the parts of the chart. And only I discovered one thing, you know, the thing that you didn't see even uh, is the most powerful one. How many of you here agree with me on this? Yeah, the invisible thing, the thing that we cannot see, the blind spot, is the one that make, uh, make us or break us. Right? So for example, like, you know, a heart attack you cannot see, right? You can kill anyone. Yeah, that might look healthy. Yeah, from um, uh, I mean, at the surface they look very healthy, but in the but actually something happening inside, right? So, and I discovered that's how parts work as well. Yeah, so I don't want all of you here, you know, yeah, to look at the parts chart. Literally, that's the whole purpose of today here is to share with you, you know, how do you actually look at parts in a way that you can actually make some uh, big change in your life. How many of you here actually uh met someone that? They spend like 10 years learning something, but in the end, their life still the same, remain the same. Have you met someone like this? We call this a uh, seminar junkies or seminar addict that attend all the life improvement program, all the investment program, right? A lot of people, right? So, and that's why I had to disagree with one thing. People say that, you know, um, learning is the best investment. <laughs> Yeah, self-education is the best investment. Yeah, I had to disagree partially with this. Okay, hear me out here first, right? So, and I think because you see in this, uh, I would say self-improvement industry, everyone will tell you, hey, what is the best investment on earth? They'll tell you what? Yeah. Yeah, feed, help me out. What, what they are telling you? What is the best? Whenever they ask you, what, what is the best investment on earth, what will tell you? Invest in yourself, right? And then for what do you do then? Oh, okay, it's correct. It's very true. Then you go to do what? You go and pay more money to them, right? So I'm, this is what happened to my friend. He attended all the finance uh, seminar, whatever you can see. He attended it, but he's financially, he's still struggling. Let, only I realized later on that actually, um, le most learning is a distraction. Yeah, it's all about investing to the right guru. You know? It's nothing to do with the teacher. The, could, the teacher could be the best teacher in the world. Okay, don't get me wrong here. I'm not against those finance, uh, financial great gurus. They are great. They can create great results. Yeah, but I'm talking about the learner, the students, right? Because they keep thinking as long as I continue to learn, you know, I, I go to create, I, I'm going to have a different results in my life, right? That is their misunderstanding about learning. Right, so it's not about learning. Yeah, but of course, if you ask your friend, everyone say, "Oh, good, good, good." Yeah, you're good. You continuously learning because all successful people they learn. Yeah, every uh, I mean every year, right? But the thing I found out here is most learning is a distraction. Yeah, you might need to write this down. Why? Because 
I discovered that 95% of the people learn something is because they are not happy with their life. They want to distract themselves to feel that they are doing something positive in their life. How many of you here feel me? Right? They sort of like get distracted. At least they know that they're heading to different direction. Or, or, but after a few months, they go back to the old self again, say, oh, this is not working. I had to learn something new again. Right? So it's like addicted to learning. How many of you here not only know this kind of, uh, you, you, might, you might have some friend like this, how many of you here discover you also like that? Yeah, it's nothing wrong with you, but this is the nature I discovered. Yeah, to a lot of people, right? Yes, it's sort of like you want to distract and you feel happy for a while, like a few months, and only you found that, hey, it's not that easy, that maybe there's something missing. I want to learn another secret formula, right? So, and in the end, I discovered that uh, one thing, yeah, most learning is distraction. The but one, if you want to make learning is uh is beneficial to you is a purposeful learning, right? There must be a purpose. Agree, right? And then the, the purpose means that you must have a real reason to learn something so you can apply your part. That is how your life uh, uh will change this way. So I actually discovered it, and I actually managed to talk to one of um owner of a uh, they, he organized a lot of our seminar life improvement seminar you know the big one and then he told me one thing he said uh, one day i have a chance to actually uh that time because while i'm young i actually volunteer to one of those programs uh, then i have the uh one day during lunchtime i have the some opportunities to talk to the owner and then he told me he, he i still remember this he told me i was you know what among all, you see, there are a lot of people attending this uh, life improvement program, probably 10,000 or 20,000. Do you know that only 5% of the people that actually take action and make changes in their life? I'll say, huh, really? 5%? That they, they pay their fortunes to attend all these courses. Yeah, I mean, are they crazy? They're just wasting their time. So this, and then, they, and then he told me, yes, it's true. As hard as it is uh, for me to believe, but it's true. Yeah, this is this is what I actually uh, uh, heard it straight from a owner that running seminar business. He told me that. Then I I told then I asked him. I still remember what happened to the remaining ninety five percent. So guess why not you guess the answer? Do you know what he would, what is his answer then? Because I asked him what happened to the remaining ninety five percent. And then he told me, he say they come back. <laughs> right, they come back again, right? And hopefully that another five percent will turn up, right? So yes, right? Because and, but they feel good because they can tell everyone I learn every day, right? So I would say that it's not about how many uh courses or subject you learn, but are you is the is, do you have a purposeful learning mindset or not? Right. So and this is something very important because oh you know you think that this webinar is free, right? That today, as we are talking right now, actually it's not free, you know. Do you know that? Yeah, you think, oh, it's a free webinar. I will say, Kondali, it's not free because what? It costs your time. Two hours of your time, you know? So you better make it worthwhile. Does it cost my time as well? Yes. Right? So, of course, I, I'll do my best. Hopefully, I can share with you some information. But it's also, you owe it to yourself. You need to learn, not just learning, but must be a purposeful learning. You must do something about it. Make sense? Right? This is what we're going to do today. Yeah, I'm, I'm not someone that like to uh, beat around the bushes, tell you all the technical part because I discovered that one thing is not working. Is a lot of people learn parts of feng shui is to impress others. Yeah, that's not <laughs> my, my forte. I know someone, uh, are some of people that like to do that, right? And when they explain parts, they're going to tell, hey, your parts chart, right? If you ask them, um, uh, shall I actually change to this new job? Then you tell you, hey, that because this one combined with this, this one clash, and then there's a harm, and then a death emptiness coming in, and because the sky horse is death and emptiness, you will benefit 50%. After you hear this, what, what, how do you feel? Yeah, when we, oh, so impressive, right? Basically, maybe they also don't know what they're talking about, <laughs> right? Yeah, so they try to impress you, right? So you feel, wow, this is a master grade. Right, so in the then if I were the asker, right, I would say in the end, yes or no. Right? Have you met someone like this? 
they throw you so many jargon, not only in butter, you know, in, in investment industry also the same, right? Why they created so many technical jargon in investment? So they look cool. They look clever. So you're willing to, you, so you feel that um, I'm not going investing money. These are the guys that know how to do it because there seems like all this jargon makes them feel like they're expert. So that one is, I, I'm not like, I don't like to do that. Okay. So I believe that, you know, every, uh, everything that we learn is has application has to be simple. Right? It has to be simple. Yeah, why? Yeah, because life is already complicated enough. And I discovered even the martial art gurus, if you ask them, right, uh, do, uh, what is their secret or how they can actually uh, be so good in what they do, as, they actually, their, their, their technique and their philosophy is very simple. As long as I can, the fastest way I can punch you and hit you to the ground, that is the best martial art ever. This is what Bruce Lee said. Agree? Right, so yeah, but because I, I think there's a there's a part someone asked Bruce Lee, right? Say, what is the best martial art? Is it the best martial art as can you can hit the enemy the fastest way using the less energy to hit the enemy to the ground? Yeah, that is the one here. And I discovered a lot of butter expert guru also that they actually they analyze the chart in a very simple way, right? They just tell you, oh, this is five element, and because of this, this person failed. Yeah, I I respect that. I feel so. I feel so impressed. I don't impress by a long story, the kind of thing, you know, like the East uh, Green Dragon flying to the north, you know, and all these things. I'll fall asleep. Okay, so today I'm going to make this uh, learning here as practical as uh, possible. And uh, the the thing is like this: How do I actually help you to actually? Because in order to learn parts, uh, one thing is very important is you must actually learn. Uh, the the mindset first. So I'm going to tell you three things about Pazza that you, you must keep in mind. If you're able to actually uh, uh, remember these three things, I'm sure that you're able to learn Pazza in a very, uh, I would say, easy way for you, no matter whether you're a beginner or you're expert. How about that? There are, there are three ways yeah, to learn Pazza. So uh, let me tell the first one here. Uh, the, remember uh, the first rule here. Uh, the first rule here is... Uh, don't make it complicated, like I told you just now, right? Make it simple. Yeah, if you see, let's say you see an element is a, uh, let's say is a peach blossom element, is an attraction element, take it at, as a yes. Guys, yeah, take it as, as a yes. Why? Because it's true. I know some of you might think, right? Oh, but that's a clash. That's a combination. That's a death and emptiness. Do you really care? No. Yeah, see it and it is. That's how you learn Pazza. And it's true. Because when you learn later on, no amount of clash or harm or whatever will change the meaning of the element. The element is still there, right? It's probably the intensity will change, but the meaning is still there. It cannot be from uh, like uh, attractive suddenly become ugly because you have a clash element next to it. Okay, guys? Yeah, I want you to remember, yeah, keep it simple. The second part here is, Second step here, start with end of mind. What do I mean by that? End of mind means that why you want to learn Pazza. Okay, guys, can you type in the chat box right now why you want to learn Pazza? Yeah, I, want to, I want to know you guys better here. Why do you learn Pazza? Okay, to improve life. Okay, to help myself, to improve life. Nice. To help my family, to achieve curiosity, help my son, okay, be rich. Nice. I like that. Uh, to improve myself, give direction. Okay, to become consultant. All right, cool. All right, so now you start with an end of mind. So when you look at Pazza, it becomes simple to you. Yeah, let me, let, me let me explain to you. For example, some of you just now say, uh, the reason I learned Pazza is to achieve financial freedom. Okay, I saw uh, Mary say that. Okay, so now if I know that the goal here is to actually look for financial freedom. In the parts, I will look at one pillar. Later, I'll show you. Okay, I'll just look at one pillar. Then it's simple. Right? The rest, I just delete it. I don't even care. But you might think, uh, should I look at day master and all those things? I don't care. Right? That's how you actually learn it because the one pillar, the man, later I'll show you what one pillar is if you don't know yet. Yeah, it's about wealth creation. Okay, that's what I say. Don't make it complicated. And the third thing, 
right? Uh, the, the second part is the end of the mind, right? And then the third part here is you need to focus on power move. You know what is power move? So which means that the move that you make that make all the difference. They are like a chess. There are certain power moves you make that are able to checkmate your opponent. Nice or not? Right? There are certain, there are certain things in the puzzle that even you use it for like every day, it doesn't give you results. But there are one of those elements maybe hidden somewhere. Yeah, but if you activate it, you, you discover it, and then you apply those actions that are related to that element, then you see big results happening. How about that? That's what we call the power move. So today, I'm going to actually share with you uh, some part of it. So, but first of all, you need to know one thing first, right? Otherwise, it's going to waste your two hours here. And um, what is your version of great destiny? Yeah, because just now you say you want to change your destiny, right? That's the reason you learn Pazza. So what is your version of great destiny? I know everyone is different. Yeah, why not you share with me in the chat box right now? What is your version? Okay, do be a version means that what is the ideal life is, right? So just wealth alone is not enough, right? You say wealth means what? You Maybe you have a great uh, house, your dream house, or some of you say freedom, right? So there must be a version, right? Some of you say um, uh, freedom, achieve happiness, financial security, nice. Okay, all of you here, you have a vision here. So let me ask you, if you already type your, what you want in the chat box right now, how much you willing to give to get it? Yeah, that is the hardest part, you know? Right, everyone will say 100%, right? But when <laughs> you know the effort you need to acquire it, then, some, and then you say, oh, I want to do this, but you know, you don't understand. I was I got my work. I got certain trauma in my childhood. There are so many things, right? So the secret of changing your destiny is not learning your puzzle. Yeah, it's by understanding, right? What is the price you're willing to give to get what you want? Yeah, so learning parts is the easiest part. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. Yeah, and later I'll show you it's the easiest part. Yeah, the part here is what you're willing to give when time is hard. Okay, why? Yeah, let me tell you the reason why. Be why, you, why you need to do this? Because I want you to know what is the agent of a great destiny? What is the agent of it? What is the cost? What need to be there to have a great destiny? That every time, just now you envision your, your, your end goal, right? Maybe you have spent time with your family and, and whatever it is. What needs to be there first in order that vision to happen? Now, let me tell you right now. Wealth. Right? You need money. Yeah, remember this. I'm, I want you to write this down. Great, all great destiny requires funding. Am I right? You will say, I envision I with my family, with my kids in the beach, you know, and then we are strolling along, we are riding a horse or whatever. That one needs money. Otherwise, right now you're not in the beach for holiday. You're in your office sitting there to make money. Guys, agree or not? So if you look at all the agent uh, or all, all the great destiny, no matter what vision you, you are envisioning just now, money play a huge role on it to make it reality. Because all of us here, I, I, I believe 95% of us here, we are not Mr. Bean. You know who is Mr. Bean? Rowan Atkinson. How many of you here actually in that generation? Okay, when I watched uh, Mr. Bean when, uh, while I was young that time, I'm wondering, you know, how come Mr. Bean got so much money? He don't need to work one, is it? <laughs> yeah, then actually inspire me. I want to become him, you know? You think about this, right? Do you know what is his job or not? <laughs> I cannot recall, but he got a lot of money, travel here, travel there, but you know. Okay, so therefore, that is, the, that is the part that we need to know that all great destiny require funding. Don't you think it's practical? Okay, Bernard Kwasi is a comedian. Comedian is the real Rowan Atkinson. I'm talking about the character inside the film. Does he have a job? And where is his money coming from? We don't know, right? So, but in the end, we, we know that that one is not represent reality, right? Reality, we still need to work, right? So, therefore, 
And uh, in order to actually achieve a great destiny, we need to tell ourselves we need to create a sizable wealth before we can talk about creating that great destiny. Agree? Right? So the secret of actually creating a great destiny lies on your ability to achieve financial freedom as fast as possible. Not only for yourself, but for your family as well. Right? So there's no, you can send your children to whatever school that you want to send them to. Right, so what, and then you can improve your health, and then you don't need to actually, uh, uh, actually stress over the work time. So therefore, today I'm going to talk about you know uh, the part about how do you do uh, find the trigger point, uh, for wealth related. Do you want to actually talk about wealth today? Yeah, I think this is important. Yeah, how about that? You want want to talk about wealth, or you want to talk about relationship, or health, or health. Yeah, wealth, right? Okay, since all of you here say uh, health, uh, uh, health, wealth here, so yes, very good. So precisely, let me show you this chart here first. Okay, this is an annual uh, parts chart, right? So if you look at the annual parts chart, the energy here, the first thing I want you to pay attention here is this. I just highlighted the box here. I like Dalina, she'll say no wealth, no relationship. <laughs> Right, right. If you want, yes, I, I totally agree with it because a lot of people say, I love my family very much. You know, I want to support them. You want to support them. You need to be the best. You want to be better, right? Otherwise, talk is cheap. Agree, guys? Right? You want to prove that you love your family. You should actually create an envir better environment for them. Yeah, I know that a lot of people can talk, uh, 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 talk a good game, right? But actually, when it comes to action, yeah, they run away. They say, bye bye. Okay, <laughs> see you next year. You know, so we don't want that, right? So if you look at the pattern chart for 2022 here, you look at this highlighted element is a wealth element. So which means that in 2022, one of the main theme of 2022 is about creating wealth. And therefore, you notice that a lot of wealth opportunities um, uh, actually are available in 2022. Yes. Yeah. And then I also noticed some of your uh, comment here say is health is wealth. Yes, we totally agree. Right? But don't you think if you're wealthy, you can have a better health? Guys, you get the best access to doctor in the, in the whole world. Right? If you are financially struggling, you need to wait at what? A long queue yeah, to get, yeah, to get uh, treatment. So it's not a pleasant situation. Right? I've seen this a lot. Right? So yes, yeah, no matter whether you're rich or you're poor, you still get illness, right? Because uh, it, it doesn't recognize what is your financial status. Yeah, but if you had to actually fall sick, right? Which one, which group of people will give you a better chance of survival? Yeah, rich. At least they have a best uh, access to all the state of art uh, medical facilities, right? Okay, nice. Okay, so now let me show you how do you read the chart first, right? So for how many of you are beginner, type the word beginner, take out your butter chart right now. I will teach you how to look at the wealth element in the, in, the, in the chart first. All right. Okay. Nice. Okay. So many beginners here. Good. Great. So let me show Take out your pattern chart again. Do you have your pattern chart? Beginners? Okay. Nice. Okay. All right. So now, but after today, you're no longer beginner. All right. So appreciate why you're less. Okay. After this two hour session, you are no longer beginner because you know something. Yeah? You cannot be beginner for the rest of your life. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, let me show you this. I want you to look at this part here. Yeah. This, but basically, if you want to learn parts, how do you use parts to help you to actually uh, find the right direction in life? First of all, you need to know this part is your natal chart. Okay, we, that's a technical term we call a natal chart. There are only two parts. And then the second part you need to know is this one. The luck pillars. Okay, only two. So whenever I mention the natal chart, I'm referring to this part here. And then whenever I, want, I mention about the luck pillars, it's at the bottom. Are you guys okay so far? Type the word yes if you're okay. Step by step. All right, nice. Okay, so this is the technical jargon. Right? If you hear about this, you don't know what it means, right? So now I'm going to tell you what it really mean. Okay, so the natal chart actually contains information that help you to prepare 
What do I mean preparation? Preparation means that you want to enhance your skill, you're prepared, so you can actually go to the, uh, I would say, go to the marketplace uh, to actually make money, right? The reason your parents send you to school to study so you can graduate, so you're competent to look for a job yeah, in the real world, so to speak, or the marketplace. Okay, guys? So when that's why... If you want to know about your talent, what is your skill, we look at this part. So this part here, so we can harness it according to our talent. Okay, that is the first part of uh, uh, the uh, butter chart. So, but if you want to know about opportunities in life, which is the external part, because think about this, right? Even though you're the best student in your class, you get graduated uh, with a uh, distinction and but if you go to work, you need to actually meet other people, right? And there are there also there'll be a lot of intelligent people out there, cry or not, right? You interact with others, your boss, your colleagues, whoever it is, is in the luck pillar, represent opportunities, is something outside of you. Okay, so which one is the most important? Tell me, is the preparation part is more important or opportunities is the most important? Okay, so a lot of you here say both, right? Yeah, that's, that would be the safest answer. <laughs> if I need you to choose one, yeah, which one? Okay, some of you say preparation, some of you say opportunities. Okay, let's, uh, let's uh, find out. Okay, let's find out. Uh, um, lead, I'm going to show you more later. Let's find out which one is the most important here. Okay, so in... How do I actually structure today? Once you understand this, I want to actually share with you uh, today what I'm going to share with you. One of it is like, it's like this. You know that uh, once you understand just now, there's a preparation and opportunities. And then the next thing here, you need to know that we're actually entering to a new world that we are no longer recognized anymore. Guys, do you guys agree? Right? So the, the, you see right now, there are no one willing to go to work full time. Yeah, they, they don't want to commute to work and they want flexibility and then uh, a lot of things change. Yeah, even the industry, the way we work, everything are changing. So therefore, when we look at the butter chart, there will be a new lens we need to look at it. So I prepared something for you to help you to embrace the new uh, world better. Okay, so let me just uh, share with you the first one I'm going to talk about today. All right, so this is what I'm referring to just now. A little things that creates the biggest impact, right? So uh, one of the things here we're talking about is the, the first one I'm going to talk about today would be the ultimate survivor skill. Ultimate. Okay, uh, uh, ultimate survivor skill. And what, what do I mean by this is like this. Because since the world is changing so much, a lot of companies re right? a lot of uh, firing happen. And then you see that there's uh, the, the, also the economy in the whole world is, uh, is right now is very chaotic. So now, no matter where you are, right? So let's say, imagine yourself in, in an organization that is uh, very chaotic right now. So who do you think is the one who survive? Yeah. So if you think about your butter chart, you can look at the intelligence star. Right, maybe the intelligence uh, people will survive better. Agree, right? So that could be one of it, or maybe it's the most strongest uh, person uh, mentally in the organization. Yeah, it could be one, right? And then, but another one here in period nine is a bit different. Yeah, in period nine, the new world. Okay, I I should I shouldn't mention the word period nine because it might confuse some of the beginner. Let's say that is a new world first. All right, so in Chinese metaphysics, we use the word period nine to actually uh, talk about, uh, to represent the new world. Yeah, so that's the benefit of actually learning Chinese metaphysics because we know the new world before everyone else knowing it. Yeah, we knew this 2017, right? How many of you here actually uh, attended some of my webinar in 2007, uh, 2017, 18, and 19, right? So that time really talk about this. So we call this uh, period nine. So let's say right now we just use the word a, a new world here. So the ultimate survival skill for, uh, for period nine, the new world, is your ability to uh, embrace, merge, and adapt to the ever-changing situation. So which means that your acceptance level has to be very high. I don't care whether what kind of achievement 
you achieved last time. You had last time how many medals or accolades you have. Uh, the period nine or the new world doesn't recognize that anymore. All right, is the one that have the ability to shift and change, and actually uh, remove their ego. You have to adapt to the new world. So the word here is adaptability. How many of you here agree that the most flexible person will survive? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So do you want to know, are you able to actually blend in into the new world easier than anyone else or not? How many of you here want to know? I can show you right now. Okay. Okay, cool. So take out your puzzle chart right now. I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, let me share my screen here. Okay, all right. Can you see some, uh, my screen right now? I shared directly from my uh, iPad here. Okay, some of you say yin wood. No, 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 it's not yin wood, right? Yin wood is too strong, also cannot be flexible, you know? <laughs> okay, there must be a right ingredient. Okay, I know some of you here um, I learned puzzle before, right? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's great to participate. So just to share with you, since you are tapping the chat box, not in wood. No, no, no. Right, so now it's like this. First of all, let's not get things complicated. Remember just now, what is the mantra here? To master puzzle, you need to what? Relax. Okay, in Cantonese, we call lan zing dit. Yeah, calm yourself down first. Okay, keep it simple. It's very simple. Yeah, let me show you like this. It's not about who getting it right, all right? doesn't matter. So I want you to actually learn the thought process so you can learn, you can actually uh, master the subject easier. So now, let me just use, uh, okay. So remember just now we talked about there are two parts here. First, this one, the, this one is the NATO represent preparation. And then this one represents opportunities. If you want to know someone who is uh, uh, flexible and adaptable, do you learn, want to look at the natal chart, the A, or the luck pillar is B? Which one? Type in the chat box. I want you to do this so we can learn together. Okay, a lot of you type A. You're right. Yeah, because flexibility is a character. It's a mindset. It's uh, the person's uh, nature. Am I right? Okay, very good. Wow, you all of you here is wow, you're better than I thought. Nice, nice. You're all very ex expert here. Maybe I'm talking to expert today that disguised as a beginner here. <laughs> okay, so A is the one, right? Okay, so cool. So, but there are so many information inside. I know some of you say it's a yin wood and all those things. Yeah, yeah, maybe some of that, maybe, but we don't know yet because the yin wood maybe is too strong. Right? If it's too strong, yin wood, it may be, it, it cannot, it's not flexible anymore. So let's not go into that detail first. All right. So we just look at the chart here and then let's focus here. Yeah, I know some of you here, I don't know where you're going to. Yeah, there are so many parts that uh, some of you say Bill Gates charts. Doesn't matter who is a Bill Gates charts or is a Elon Musk. Doesn't matter. All right. So now, how do you do this? Is one way you can actually, since we know that we need to read this part, so there are a few ways we can do this. One way you can study each of the element here. This would be the arduous task for beginner, especially. So today we're not going to do that. So, but the good thing here is this software able to summarize all the information in the natal chart into this group. Yeah, so this these two uh, sections here is a representation of the information from the nature chart. So we convert it into a graphical format and a percentage format. So you able for you, easier for you to learn. It's the same information. It's just on different uh, uh, presentation, okay, or different angle. So now, and you might think, right? Okay, wow, it still look complicated to me. Don't worry. Okay, so let me explain uh, why. In this, on the left-hand side, we're talking about the five elements. Five elements. What are the five elements? Fire, earth, metal, water, and wood. There are five elements. So, and at the right-hand side, we're talking about ten gods. Okay, the, the, the name sounds impress, 
impre- uh, very, uh, I would say powerful. Yeah, but actually it's just a terminology, right? So why there are five, there are 10? Because each five element have yin and yang. There's a duality aspect of it. So fire, there are yin fire, there are yang fire. So therefore they make up to 10. Guys, understand so far? All right. Okay, cool. So now if we talking about flexibility, if you're talking about flexibility, they are these are the element we are looking at. Water. Okay, because water is very flexible, right? They don't have a, a I would say a shape to start with. No matter you just feel the water can blend into whatever container you feel fill the water with, right? So therefore, if your chart, your water element, since it represents flexibility, is high. So what do I mean high? At least 60% and above, then you'll be uh, flexible. You can adapt. Okay, so now check your chart. So for this person here, is around 50%, okay, average. But let's set it to 60%, right? Anything above 60%, you're right flexible to the new world. Okay, this one is not for you to learn yoga, right? Some of you just <laughs> ask me, hey, can I, be, if it means that I'm a great yoga practitioner, no, no, no. This is not that kind of flexibility. This is, uh, okay, all right. So some of you, zip. okay, so this one is here. So if, if you are zero, that means that, yeah, you need to consciously aware that you need to embrace changes. Yeah, accept all the changes easily. Then you can benefit from the from this uh, uh new world here. For example, like there are a lot of new way to invest, right? There are cryptocurrency, there are NFT, there are the sandbox, there are the virtual land. There are so many of it, right? So now, how many of you here is above sixty percent? Type the word me. Okay, nice. Cool. <laughs> so, which means that you're more flexible. So now, exactly, some of you say exactly 60%. Okay, some of you ask, should, uh, should I uh, refer to the beige color or the purple color? You refer to the beige color. All right, so let's do another one here. So for this person, Oh, okay. How? Eh? Oh, I hold on. Uh, I cannot. I share again. I think the screen doesn't works on real time. Okay. All right. So, how about this? The water element quite high, right? Okay. So it's quite high here. So means what? Yeah, this person can embrace to technology really well. They can change a lot. Yeah, so good or not? For period nine. Nice. Okay. So, uh, okay, some of you say, oh my God, I only got 40%. Don't worry. This is only the first topic we're going to talk about today. Yeah, so maybe you have some other skill that, yeah, that uh, later on we're going to talk about. Don't worry. Don't cry first. Okay. Yeah, don't be cry baby, all right? Some of you say how, how. Yeah, for now, yeah, no solution for now. <laughs> accept it first. No solution, zero. Okay? Can you accept it or not first? Yeah, later on, as we go on, then later on, we're going to talk about uh, what can you do about it. Okay? So, yeah, don't get depressed. Some of you say, I want to, dep- I want to cry. You don't, don't cry, don't cry. Can You delay it first, all right? So, later on, after. If after today's workshop, if you still cannot find solution, then you're allowed to cry. Okay, right now you must delay your tears from coming out first. Okay, I insist. Okay. <laughs> okay, now clear. So the first step here is uh okay, Anna Krishnan say if too much water means it's bad. No, no, it's just you just like to cry only, that's it. Okay, too much water, right? Yeah, so a lot of tears. Okay, just joking. All right, the water represents thinking. So if too much, you also represent you think a lot, right? So, but right now, let's not deviate from other topic first. We're talking about flexibility. Okay, flexibility only. Are you guys clear? Otherwise, if you uh, everything all over the place, you'll get confused. 
Okay, so you have it is a good thing. So now, don't you think this will be helpful? Yeah, if you actually, uh, if you actually uh, interview someone, or you need someone that work in a department that constantly changing. Okay, all right. That I think that one is good, right? So now, just now, water represent flexibility. Let's say this one uh, water is not a lot. So if you do you want more level uh, uh, deeper or not in learning puzzle. Okay, all right, cool. So since water represents flexibility, the element that is not flexible in the chart is the earth element. All right, is the earth element. So if your water element, let's say, is below 50, yeah, don't, don't be too sad first, right? Okay, you're not that flexible, but are you rigid or not? someone that cannot even change a minor thing yeah then you look at your earth element right if your earth let's say your water also very weak and your earth element is very strong uh, now you know yeah you're freaking stubborn <laughs> okay additional information for you okay and those who are stubborn that don't know they are stubborn okay so no need to argue with them they're going to tell you, oh, I'm not stubborn, I'm very flexible. Those person who tell you they are not stubborn is the most stubborn person on earth. Agree or not? <laughs> Have you encountered this every single day? Yeah, like some people tell me, hey, I'm very kind-hearted. Okay, then now you raise a flag already. I know you are not kind-hearted. Because a kind-hearted person will not tell me they're kind-hearted. Yeah, I, I still remember one, uh, one time uh, someone told me, right, I was saying, don't worry, I'm very reasonable. <laughs> Guess what? Is this person reasonable? No, he said, tell me everything. I was I'm very reasonable. Please don't tell him anything. He'll get pissed off. <laughs> okay. Yeah, now you know. All right. So now this is for you to first step here is to build your confidence if le in learning puzzles. So you know to look at the element first. All right. So they're always step by step. I think the first step here is to build confidence. Look at the thing as a simple way, the five elements. Because I noticed that a lot of people, uh, or a lot of experts, they're actually the good one, especially, they're very sim simple in terms of analyzing their puzzle chart. So I want you to be like them. Okay, because when you analyze things simple way, you are clear. You are not uh, clouded by so many information. And you know that in period nine, right, uh, it will be overloading of information. Yeah, in period nine, because in Google, uh, you can get information very easily. But one thing people are starving, wisdom. They're starving of wisdom. Agree? So that's why if you look at period nine, right? There are a lot of people actually pursuing wisdom-related subjects or education. So if you are a philosophy or you're teaching wisdom, right? I would say period nine would be a, a period you see a lot of opportunities because a lot of people need it. Yeah, because you're already way beyond information age already. We are slowly moving to the age of uh, spirituality, technology, and wisdom. Okay. All right. So now, uh, the next one here, I'm going to talk about... Okay, some of you have questions later. Later, I'm going to actually address some of your questions. Yeah, so I think I, I need to continue first. Otherwise, I might spend like five hours here, okay? <laughs> Then I no need to sleep already. And then tomorrow I still need to do consultation. Yeah. So cannot, right? Five, five hours is too long. So can I continue first? Then I will allocate some time to do some QA Q &A later. Yeah, because yeah, now we have almost like 2,000 students, you know. So if I address some of your question, yeah, it might not be fair to the rest. All right. Okay, cool. Nice. So now the next one here I'm going to talk about is this. be there first right how do you be there first so which means that you need to be the first one right the first one on anything is a first mover advantage in period nine the new world here even though you didn't know a lot then you must be the first one so remember just now i asked you opportunities more important and preparation more important i think i did i just answered you that question in period nine opportunities is more important Okay, you need to be there first. Even you don't understand the subject fully, volunteer yourself to take that job and then you learn while you're working on it. 
Yeah, why? Uh, so if you are if you if you are Chinese metaphysics uh, student, you know in in period nine is represented by Li Gua. Li Gua is fire. Yeah, fire very fast dies off by itself, right? It spread very fast. So you need to be there first to get the first mover advantage. Okay, guys. So I, I answer your question in period. Yes, sometimes preparation is the most important, especially in period eight. Period eight preparation because it's a kengua, right? Stability first, build the foundation first. But period nine is changing. So you need to change along the way. Who is the one that can change the easiest? Tell me. The one just now, the water element is higher. Right? They can accept it. They say, okay, I will send, I will do it. Right? But those just now, some of you, your water element is, is zero and then your earth is 100%. You, guess what we will say? I will send, you don't understand. You know? Let me explain to you my situation first. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met some people like this? Right? No matter what you say, they say, mm, no. Yeah, I have a trauma, my childhood trauma, you know. It's easier said than done, I will say. Okay. Yeah, the kind of tonality also. Okay, so <laughs> so that one is uh so now. Okay, so now you know in period nine, uh, uh, this part is the most important, right? So be there first. So if you look at Okay, let me share with you a little bit about what I did last time. You know that the new world, how do we know there's a new world coming? Because we know Chinese metaphysics. We know that the new world will starting to change in 2024. But we can see the preview starting 2017. Someone just now asked, right, when the new world, the period nine will happen, officially kicks in in the year of 2024. But there's, there's a pre-sale. Okay, yeah, maybe I'm not sure whether it's the right word to use because before you officially officially launch a property, you can actually have a pre-sale, right? Where people can do the booking or the preview of it, right? So yeah, you can grab it already for the property, right? So if in period nine, you need to have this uh, pre-launch or pre-sale and all these things, right? Not? Okay, someone say pre-launch, yes. Okay, so 2017 is the pre-launch or the pre-sale. Okay, 2024 is the actual official date. It kicks in into period nine. Okay, so now, so once, because we, we, we know Chinese metaphysics, we know this. And in 2019, I, uh, early 2019, I start, I actually, I start to actually teach period nine to students already at that time. Yeah, I think some of you actually attended my first uh, period nine class, right? Yeah, so why I want to do that? Tell me. Of course, besides I want to actually spread this message to uh, everyone, I also want to align to be as a Li Gua, be there first. Agree? Right? Because I know it's a Li Gua. So I still remember that time, a lot of people tell me, Alison, why are you doing period nine? People don't know what you're talking about, right? People won't understand what is period nine is. Yeah, it's, and it's true, right? But I don't listen to them. That's the only difference. <laughs> Why? Because the, the period nine is a liqua, is be the first mover advantage, right? So I do that. And what they say actually is true. I'm not saying that what they say is wrong. You know why they say it's true? Because during that time, when I search Google, I search the word period nine, there are no results coming up. Zero. Right? It's zero that time. Yeah, so why I choose to do it, I think is part of my obligation to share with everyone. But beside that, I know it's a liqua because I need to eat my own cooking, right? If I teach you something, I didn't do it myself, right? Then I'm not a responsible teacher. Am I right? So I actually doing it that time. I know that it, it could be a risk. They are telling me, hey, Iverson, there are no one going to learn from you. I say, I don't care. Okay, I just do it first. Okay, and it's a liqua, right? And therefore, and fast forward, 2019, 2020, 21, 22. And then right now, you try to search Google period nine. Do you see a lot of information coming up? Yes, right? Yeah, so that's why you see the, the first mover there, you gain the few years advantage already. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm trying to tell you. I, I try to tell you not to impress you, but to impress upon you that actually the information there is up to you whether you want to use it or not. Yeah, because those ideas doesn't come from me. It's because I understand there's a liqua there. So I hope that uh, do, now I, I really tell you the reason why I'm doing that during that time. Okay, so Adam Mock say, how about period one? Period one, you wait quite some, not, not so soon. 
Okay, so it's 2044, you know, right? So it's still a very long way to go. Okay, at the mark, yeah, wait for a while. Okay, so this is this is the one here. So now be there first, right? So now some of you here, you listen and then you forget, right? Okay, I will say say be there. Not only just teaching period, I think everyone, everything else in your industry, if you discover that there are new trend coming in, maybe you are you're running a, a, a hair salon business, there are new technology, or maybe you or maybe it's a 3D printing of the hair. I don't know. I just make it up, all right. I just give you some example here. You must be the first one that go to do it first. Okay, whether is is you you might successful or not doesn't matter. You need to be the first one first. So then you can capture the essence or the energy of period nine. So you might need to write this down. Period nine rewards first mover, the first adopter. Okay, all right. So you might need to write this down. I'm telling you, you're talking about creating wealth, right? So this is one of it. Okay, so let me repeat again. Period nine rewards first mover or first adopters. They're early adopters. Okay, so that's why I call be there first. So in the chart, then you might say, Iverson, can I see from the chart whether I got this uh, uh, this element about uh, first adopter or not, or the early adopters? Do you want to know how to say this? Okay, all right. So let me share with you the chart again. So whatever I'm sharing with you right now is the wealth creation using the lens of period nine. All right. So and in period nine, there are one element is a wealth star. Underrated wealth star is this one, Sky Horse. Sky Horse rep represents speed. And Skyhorse also one of the powerful wealth star in period nine. So everyone, I want you to zoom in to your chart, and then you locate a, a Skyhorse here, and then you attach to one animal sign. Do you see that? All right. So for this person here is monkey. So if it's a monkey, then you need to look at this portion here. Does it have a monkey animal sign or not there are only four possible of animal sign do you have it so for this person let's do this example here first for this person is a monkey right so but this one is pig so is no this one is dog so is no as well so this one is dog so is no and then good no so this person don't have sky horse star so let's do another one okay Okay, this one, the sky horse star is tiger. See a tiger here, right? So now, see whether this shark or tiger or not. Any tiger here? No. No tiger? No tiger. Okay, so I want you to check your shark whether you have it or not. So let me, let me see whether I can find one that have, it, have this or not. Okay, all right, so let's do this. So see this sky horse here is tiger, right? So now, this chart here got tiger or not? Yes. This one will be the early adopter. They're willing to venture into something yeah, that uh, no one willing to do it yet. Yeah, this is uh, something very uh, powerful to have. Okay. All right. Nice. So now if you have it, type the word yes. Okay, nice. Okay, so now you know, right? Capture it because you have a lot of opportunities by being the first mover. Happy or not? And you know this what is this chart? Who is this chart is? I think this one is a Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs chart. Yeah, the chart I'm showing right now. Okay, so don't you think it also reflect He's he, the way he running his business. He's the one that actually uh, uh, launched an iPhone without a stylus because he tell everyone's stylus sucks, right? The, the best pointing instrument in the world is your finger. That's what he tell everyone. 
And a lot of people think he's crazy. You see that he already have this nature, right? You think about this. If Steve Jobs is not dead yet, do you think he will thrive in period nine? Is it period nine is very suitable for his character, by the way? Yes, it is. 100%. Okay, so some of you say, uh, if I don't have it in the, um, in the chart, do, if I see in the year pillar, is it considered? All right. Okay, in, in the love pillar, I will also would like to consider. So take it as yes. Happy? If not, then I will, there will be a lot of people crying tonight. So if it's in the love pillar, then yes, you still can take it because it's, at, it's, it's part of your partner chart if it's a love pillar. Okay, let me share with you what is love pillar means. Means uh, like this. Okay, for example, this person is tiger, right? So tiger, and he discovered that there's no tiger here, and then he want to cry already. Then you tell this guy, don't cry first. Why not we look at the love pillar first? So where to look for? There are so many uh, pillars in the love pillar, right? You only can look for the one that is highlighted in beige color here. All right. So even though there's a tiger here, it's not cons uh, this is a monkey. Sorry. So even is other place we are we are not uh, is not considered only at the highlighted one. So now is this a a tiger or not? No. So we can tell this person. Okay. Now you can cry because there are no more backup option. <laughs> there are only five pillars in total. All right. Okay. So now you got the permission to cry right now. Okay, I know some of you not satisfied. Okay, Iverson, can I scroll down? Maybe I see it here. Or somewhere I see a tiger somewhere. Don't. This is what I call positively bluffing yourself, all right? Just accept it. Cannot. Yeah, period nine, you cannot be a crybaby. That crybaby will not survive in period nine. I'm serious. Yeah, yeah, yes, uh, cry baby cannot survive in period nine. If you if you attended one of my some of my webinar before, yeah, in period nine, the winner is the alpha. Uh, the one that uh not I'm um, I will not say dictator, but they are the one that they take responsibility, they control stuff. Their yeah, alpha will be one of the sought after uh I would say uh person in period nine. Yeah, that. So how do you know you're alpha or not? Very simple, right? So if you're someone that say, you know what? The reason I procrastinate because my chart got a lot of earth element, you know? And that's why I procrastinate. You cannot blame me. Blame my chart. Uh, that one means you're not alpha anymore. Yeah, in period nine, you become a crybaby. Okay? <laughs> so too bad. Uh, why? Because you now you know, because the chart just reflects who you are. Yeah, the chart doesn't create you. It just reflects who you are as a person. So you need to say, because I know this is my problem, I'm going to fix it. No excuse. And I'm going to do it now, not tomorrow. Now, from this moment, then. That one means you're taking responsibility, right? Therefore, this is a good thing in period nine. Uh, why? Because period nine, the early heaven is a Chen Gua. Chen Gua is ultimate leadership. They take responsibility. Okay. All right, so now, okay, someone asked, what is the advice to those who don't have a sky horse? Then one way you can work with someone that have a sky horse in their chart. Okay, and then ask them to be the early adopters on something, the first mover. Even they fail, they are the one actually having the consequences, not you, right? You're safe. <laughs> okay. All right, just joking. It cannot be that bad, right? So, but I know you wish it would happen that way. But anyway, yeah, don't don't think like that, right? So maybe just I just want you to know that uh, this is not the only thing in the chart that create a successful uh, wealth creation in period nine. I'm I'm telling you multiple options. Remember, just now we're talking about flexibility. That's one, right? So if you don't have that, maybe this one you have. If you don't have this, then maybe the next one. Hopefully you have it. Hopefully. I cannot promise, you know, because I didn't create this puzzle, all right? 
So what is the solution right now? Don't be crybaby, care not. Yeah, because period nine doesn't favors crybaby. Okay, nice. Okay, just if you have it, great. Do something about it. If you don't have it, accept it. Because take a deep breath. Okay, those who don't have it, take a deep breath. Follow me. Take a deep breath inside and then tell yourself, it's a beautiful world. Again. Okay? Yeah, you're not supposed to be crying in my webinar, you know? That one is... Uh... Okay, all right, cool. Now, okay, everyone is smiling again. That one is a heavy offense. <laughs> okay. All right, nice. Now, let's move on. Let's move on to the third one here, all right? So, and... Uh... The next one I'm going to talk about here is, okay, let me see how do I actually look for the next one. Okay, this one, I think you might like this. Know your opportunities in life. All right, so know your opportunities in life. This is very good because you want to know yeah, what is your current opportunities that you have in uh, in your life right now because remember just now I told you if you need to choose between preparation and opportunities now you know that in period 9 we always go for what? opportunities right so and uh, let me show you the chart now we're going to focus on the luck pillar to know what kind of luck available to you so we can do some uh, luck pillar analysis how many of you here want to learn more about luck pillar analysis? okay nice so now, as shown on the screen here, this one is a luck pillar. Luck pillar is like this. Every luck pillar governs 10 years or a decade. Okay, so but you, if you want to know when, when you're going to change to this luck pillar, you look at here. This is the age. Okay, this is the age number. So which means that by the age of 52, this person will get into this luck pillar and it will move on to the next one the moment he hit. 62 okay all right so this is uh this is how it works here so you can actually consider the luck each luck pillar is like a new universe a new universe where you have different people different culture so which means that you're in this universe this is you right so now you're in this universe after 10 years you're going to move on to another universe it could be different people, different thoughts, or different way of meaning. Okay, make sense now? It's a different environment. So if you're in the environment that support you, then it's great. For example, let's say, let's say you are, let's just imagine you are, uh, you are a guy right now, and then your whole life purpose is you want to look like Tom Cruise. But you are nowhere look like Tom Cruise, not even close and you're not happy all right you keep asking why me why me all right and the thing is like this if you your know, average looking man if you transported to a universe that there are no male is only females don't you think you automatically become the most handsome guy in the universe right you become the hot item imagine that Right? You've been transported to another universe that all female, there are no male, there are no competition at all, like <laughs> demand and supply. Yeah? So even you don't look like Tom Cruise, now you're even better looking than Tom Cruise. So, okay. So the luck pillar represents the universe. Okay, so, but if you go to a universe that a lot of people are very good looking like Tom Cruise. And there are only 10 female there only. So the, the, the supply is limited. So that is a bad universe. You hate it. Right? You, you, you might thinking of actually make a U-turn. <laughs> okay, but the, but the thing here is, this kind of love pillar, you cannot make a U-turn. Right? The moment you in that universe, that you need to make the best of it. All right? Okay, uh, so now, do you want, that's why you want to learn about your log pillar. Make sense? Right, because it represents a total uh, totally uh, new universe. 
I hope that this metaphor helped you to remember parts of better. Are you guys okay? Do you like this or not? I haven't teach people this way before. Yeah, probably is your first one here. Yeah, different universe. So and um, now there's there's a huge uh, study on this because uh, someone asked me, hey, Alison, do you since you know all this so many techniques, right? So where do you actually learn these wealth techniques from? Like so many different types. Yeah, uh, let me. Do you want to know the secret? Where do I learn all this? Right. So of course, I uh, I actually do some research on myself. But at the same time, because I have a lot of clients, right? So a lot of clients, and therefore a lot of them are quite rich. And I also ask them questions. Because when doing a partner consultation, right? Of course, they're going to ask me about certain things about their partner. But normally, their, their, their conversation is very short because they have one or two questions on it, right? After that, they have time, right? Because normally, one consultation is one hour. Then I have time. So guess what I do? I ask them questions. I ask them, what's your secret of your success? You know what, how you think? Yeah, because remember one thing, success always leaves clue, right? If, you, if I want to make money, I need to model someone that was already rich. Make sense or not? Right? If you want to learn how to be a great investor, you're not going to learn from someone that is uh, doing poorly in, in investment, right? I still remember there is one, uh, I attended one uh, investment course and it's a preview, by the way. And, and this guy told me that, you know, he made a lot of money and all those things. And you know what? After the whole, uh, whole uh, preview, and then I, I, I actually went to the parking lot and then I saw him. And then he's driving a very small old rusty car. Okay, then that's the first time. Then I concluded that he's a scammer. Yeah, some people are like that, right? So therefore, I don't actually listen what people say. I model people that are already achieving results. Make sense? Guys, right? So it's the art of modeling. All right. He told me he owned a big car and all those things. Actually, it's not. Right. So yeah. And literally, I found that what I assume is true. He's a scammer. So now, this not only happened in our, our, our finance industry, right? If you think about like health, right? There is a lot of contradiction in terms of health advice, isn't it? Right? If you do the Google search, or you, even from different doctors. So Dr. A will say, if you do this, you live forever. And then Dr. B say, if you do the same thing, you'll die tomorrow. <laughs> that will happen. Which one will you trust? I have this dilemma as well last time. So I finally, I discovered the secret. I, I don't listen to both. I, I, if I want to become healthy, I want to look for someone that is very healthy and live very long. Then I need to interview this person and ask what did he do beside his uh, gen uh, genetic lottery, right? There's something he, he's doing, right? Make sense or not? Right? So therefore, I actually asking all these real person. That's why I can tell you that if even you're missing a wealth element, it doesn't matter. Because I see so many of them, that zero wealth element, they're super wealthy. So therefore, I talk to them because they already make it, right? So I look at the chart, I compare, I all, do all this research here. And then I actually, uh, I think I showed this before to some of you. I actually compiled this into uh, Iverson Lee Millionaire Secrets Playbook. <laughs> okay, I, I actually compiled all, all of this thing here. So last time I put it in a book, but right now I actually put it in a uh, uh, in my iPad already. So I scribble a lot. Yeah, so some of it, I, I, I plug and play. I also share with some of you uh, this information as well. Okay, that's why you see, sometime you ask me, right, I was saying, where this information from? Is it from classic? Some of them is not from classic. You know why? Because during classic time, there are no cryptocurrency. Yeah, that is the problem, right? So you cannot refer to that because time changing. So I need to look at someone that good in crypto right now. Then I look at the chart and then you see what is happening. I do all this crazy stuff when, you know, even beside wealth, you know, I do, I, I plot a lot of chart of Formula One drivers. How many of you here like F1, Formula One? Right, okay. Some of you like, right? And you might think all these champions might have seven killings, right? No. Yeah, that's a misconception. You think, oh, it must be seven killing, must be the dead ever to do it. No, a lot of them, they don't have seven killing at all. Now, now you see, right? So that's why I like to do all these crazy shits. So in wealth aspect, I also do a lot. Yeah, so that's so sometime during this webinar, I actually extract some of it here to share with you. Because some of it is too technical. I don't want to confuse you, but some of it I actually extracted from there as well. Okay, all right. So now 
back to our talking about the luck pillar, right? The luck pillar, let me show you again, where do you look for uh, this luck pillar? Okay, okay, let me just uh, do it this again. So this is a luck pillar for anyone. I want to look, pay attention to the box that is highlighted. The luck pillar is important. Is This is your current opportunities. And then I think another one, you should look also your future one because maybe you are just one year before you hit the next luck pillar. All right, okay. So Pinky Tan say that I don't know other people exact birth time. How do I accurate plot the butter chart? The luck pillar doesn't require the time of birth. All right. Yeah, that's the best part about butter. So it's your job to find out their birth date. That's it. Yeah, you can get to get a lot of information about this person. So now when we look at this chart, how do we read? There are so many ways we can read the chart here. But the one thing is like this. Let me ask you one question first. Because you asked me to share the the my millionaire secrets playbook right i i share with you one information right now you want you want to learn okay let me ask you first do you do you of course everyone want to retire rich right but do you want to retire young or you want to retire old tell me of course young right now right so now now, now i share with you one of the secrets here this part is retire old if you follow this part you retire young Okay, so now you tell me which one you want. And now I'm telling you the secrets. And you ask me where's the classic from this. This, this is not from the classic. This is what I discovered while interviewing a lot of multi-millionaires. All right, they don't follow this path. Yeah, think about this. By just knowing this piece of information, does it worth out your time here? Yeah, I, I'm telling you the concept. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, knowing a little changes in the chart to make the biggest difference. Yeah, because if you look at this, what people will do? I look at the 10 gods, what is my talent? If my talent is an accountant, then I need to be accountant until I'm old and retire. That is old way of retire. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Because in the old days, if you if your success as a very young age is bad thing. Agree? They're going to tell you you'll be arrogant and you don't know how to control your wealth. Think about the in the old times, right? It, they don't like you to success, uh, sus, become very successful in a very young age. Make sense? Agree or not? Right? They, they, they think this is a bad thing. But nowadays it's changing. So in the old days, people like a slow and steady way. That's why we look at here. So if you look, if you talk about wealth perspective, you look at here, you're going to end up retired old. Okay, so now, so does it make learning the luck pillar more interesting right now? Okay, because why? Because this is a current pillar. If you want to be rich, why you need to wait? Do this, right? This is all the, op this is real. This is current, right? You don't want to wait for your whole life to get this done. Yeah, this is what I use as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm just using my luck pillar to tell you, right? If you ask me, how do I use my chart personally? I don't pay much attention to the rest of the stuff. I, I put a lot of attention to my luck pillar. Okay. All right. So now you look at here. So there's so many information here. Maybe I share with you some of it. Okay. Let me uh, go start with something easy here first. Okay. I want you to look at uh, this one. Okay. Look at this. And you will see that there's a yin or yang. Right, so type in the in the chat box whether it's a yin or yang. Okay, all right, yin. Some of you yin, some of you yang. Right. Okay, so this one will give you sort of like a direction available because this is a total you uh, another universe. Right. You want to know what is this universe favors. So if here is yang, let's say here is a yang then it means that uh, the strategy you're going to use for this luck pillar is about leadership, right? You, you want to climb a leadership position, you need to make some hard decision. Even though people don't understand you, you decide, you carve your own path. If it's a yang. 
So in this universe, you'll be a winner. Yeah, if you're yang. If here is yin, if here is yin, this is it's not about being a leader. It's about leverage on other people's strength. You can be the mastermind. You can be the one that behind the scene. Yeah, you make a lot of network and then you benefit from maybe through their connection or through their influence. Yeah, now I'm giving you a, a, a overall uh, strategy first. Okay, do you understand me? So now I give you one. This is the universe you are living right now. <laughs> yeah, this is also come from my playbook in a simplified format. Yeah, does it make sense? Look back in your chart. And now let me ask you. Uh, do you make this useful? Do you find this useful? And that's why I tell you, I'm telling you, learning pattern is not hard. Right? It's easy. Even your beginner you can follow. And now you can plan your life like this. You want to make more wealth? Look at the top element first. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay. So some of you ask about DE or something. Remember, you forgot what I told you from the earlier on. Don't make your chart complicated. Okay. All right. I already know what you're going to tell me. There's a DE, there's a clash, and I don't care. I'm sorry. Yeah, because I want to keep things simple. Of course, you want to make it complicated. I can make it as complicated as possible. You want? Okay, I can tell you this one clash with this. Okay, it's clash with this. And then this one also combined with this. And because this is a month of water, water is strong. And then water mixed with the gold will represent contamination of water. Okay, you want more? But the good thing here is, there's a savior element here. This is a rabbit. Rabbit and, and a goat will form a three harmony combination. Okay, want me to go on? No need. Okay, <laughs> right? So even I also cannot continue. All right, so don't, don't, don't do it. Because that one is to do what? It's just to impress someone. Right, Why, what for? Right, okay, you have this jargon here combined and all those things, or there's a depth in this, don't, don't worry. Okay, all right. You, okay, one thing here. The reason, the reason you learn Pazza, right? How do you know you learn Pazza correctly? After you learn Pazza, you're supposed to have more freedom. And I discovered that a lot of people, after they learn Pazza, Pazza they become more scared of life. Right? This one cannot do, this one cannot do, you know, I need to avoid this, avoid that. Have you met some people like this? They are much more better before they learn it. No? But after they learn, that they, they're afraid of every single thing. That it means that they learn Pazza the wrong way. Yeah, Pazza should give you more freedom. Yeah, it shouldn't confine you in an invisible prison. That's not the purpose of Pazza. Okay, if I, let's say, if you want to know how I use Pazza, right, I just read the chart, I put it aside, and then I enjoy my life. I don't live inside the Pazza. Pazza is just one of the two that help me to achieve my goal. You see the difference here? Right, so if you're able to do this, yeah, then, then you, 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 you're able to benefit from Pazza. Yeah, I share with you this from my experience because I also lived inside Pazza last time. <laughs> I'm afraid of this or DE, you know, all these things. I used to be a happy person, but after I learned it, then I become so frightened. Everything also cannot do. Yeah, then, but as long as I progress and then I meet some uh, mentor, help me to guide me, finally, I have a right perspective about Pazza. Okay? All right, nice. So now, um, I, do you want more or not about the love pillar? Do you want more about love pillar? Okay, let me show you uh, one more thing here. Maybe more. I don't know. Okay, so now in this chart here, in Pazza study, there are two elements that represent the most obvious wealth. Indirect wealth and direct wealth. IW stands for indirect wealth and DW stands for direct wealth element. There are two elements that represent wealth. So I want you to first locate first, right? So I know some of you don't have, okay? Don't be a cry baby first. Yeah. Rejoice for other people who have it, right? You are kind people, right? If you don't have, don't cry. Rejoice for those who have it. So now look at here. Does it have DW or IW or not? 
So for this person here, yes, I discovered their one DW here. Right? So which means that this person are going through wealth luck. Yeah, the proper way of saying this, if you learn Pazza, is this person is going through wealth luck. Okay, so now, and um, then what does it mean? Right? How many of you here got a wealth element in your current Pazza chart? Regardless whether it's uh, IW or DW, doesn't matter. Do you have this or not? Okay, nice. If you have this, let me tell you what does it mean. It could be at the top, it could be at the top, at the bottom, doesn't matter. There are no difference for now. It's still the same. So now whether you have it or you don't. So if you have this, let me tell the universe you are in right now. This universe, there's honor a, a good work ethics. So which means that all you need to do is just to work hard. And you see a lot of luck coming. Right? I know some of you say, right, no matter how hard I work, I also cannot see results. But if you're going through wealth luck, it's different. This universe is a bit different. As long as you're willing to commit, you have a great work ethics, you work harder than anyone else in the room, you are the king. Okay, someone still complain it's not the main chi, it's a small character. Come on, right? Be grateful. You know, some of you right now don't have, they are crying right now. So Nylin LY. Yeah, you still say you don't have it in the big character. Don't worry, you be grateful, all right? You still have it. Okay, imagine some of them don't have it right now. They're taking a handkerchief or a tissue, crying right now. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, right? So yeah, be grateful if you have it. Okay, now, so uh, first thing here, this universe rewards are if you are very hardworking. And the second one here, if you are in this universe, you will you actually start to see the importance of making money. If you're in this current, you have a universe that comes with the wealth element. Suddenly you realize the importance of investing, the importance of uh, achieving financial freedom. Right? You look at your own chart. Is it during that time is your mind transit, right? You see the comment here? That's true, Corona. Yeah, this universe is exciting. And also. This universe, if you enter a wealth, either is direct wealth or indirect wealth universe, you will also likely to discover your life purpose during this time. Finally, you'll have this aha moment, oh, I know what to do. Yeah, this is the power of the wealth element in your current universe. Right, somewhere along the years. Happy now? Yeah, so yeah, spot on, right? Yeah, so this is what I discovered. And again, some of you ask, is it from the classic? No, this is not from the classic. <laughs> okay, this is from my playbook. Yeah, the, the, the book I told you just now, I write that. I discovered all this thing here. Yeah, I can, I can sell this, but I chose to give it for free. Okay, for, for all of you here. So you learn part, part by part. Yeah, it's powerful, right? Yeah, that's why I say don't over underestimate the, the simplicity of information. Yeah, the, mo the most simple, the most basic it is, I discover is the most powerful one. And do you, do you agree with me when I say that the most profound thing in life actually is very simple? And it's just our human that make it complicated. Okay, so yes. Okay, how many of you here don't have this uh, wealth Wealth element. Okay, let me address this group of people first. I had to address them, right? It's part of the job, right? If I tell you something, there must be another group that is not so happy. <laughs> so I need to take care of them as well. Okay, so now uh, don't worry, don't worry. All right, so now maybe I can help you to use some chiman here to do this. Okay, how about this? Wealth manifestation. Do you want this? I know a lot of you here already have this, but if you don't, uh, if you haven't, uh, uh, maybe this is the first time you are listening to me. I actually have this uh, free content that you can actually manifest on monthly basis to attract wealth energy as well. All right, so it's in my Telegram. If you are interested to actually uh, uh, learn this, this is free. All you need to do is just to install a Telegram channel. Uh, sorry, what I'm talking about. You just need to install a Telegram app in your smartphone and then this is the link and you can scan the QR code. Of course, you don't join now because the webinar is not over yet. So just take a screenshot right now, right? Just take a screenshot 
and then uh, you can actually do this after the webinar later. So if you pay attention to the uh, chat box right now, so uh, the team also posted a uh, link there. You just click on it. All right. So there's a lot of free information, Pata, Chiman Dunja. So everything that can help you day by day to become better. Okay. That, that is the, I would say that that is the part that I decided to pay forward. Because someone helped me before in my journey in Chinese metaphysics, I think I need to do my obligation as well to actually uh, share with others as well. So this is where I actually, uh, I use this channel to actually share this information. Okay. All right. So nice. So, and now, do you want more information? <laughs> I promise you, uh, you have more, right? So now, let's, if you ask me, is what is the way for you to improve your person knowledge is it lies down to one question or one uh, uh, skill here is your ability to ask a better question right so last time yeah when i actually learned Pazza, my the moment i see the lock pillar i don't have a favorable element there or i or i don't have a wealth element i start to piss off right as i i, I feel not happy so but until a point i ask myself right is there anything that can override the power of lock pillar? Is there anything beyond the lock pillars or not? Right? Because the lock pillar, sometimes if you have it, you're happy, right? But some of you, you look at just now some of the people who commented, they don't have it. Even in the next 20 years or so, they don't have those elements, right? So if you read the chart that way, you might find a bit depressing, isn't it? No matter how positive you are, you might feel depressing. You'll say, oh my God, right? Even the next 30 years, I don't get to see some element that I like. So therefore, I that time I asked myself one question, is there anything that beyond the love pillars or not? Right, so let me just uh, show you the screen again. Uh, this is the question I asked, beyond the love pillars. How many of you here want to uh, learn what is another energy that can override your love pillar? Yeah, so we go to the next. That's why I I'm telling you after today's webinar, you, you cannot be a beginner. It's not possible. Even you try, all right? You're no longer a beginner even right now, okay? What you learn here is probably more than someone that just uh, learned Pata for five years, okay? Because all I'm sharing with you here is the tipping point of Pata chart. Okay, this is the part I'm, I'm sharing with you. So do you want to know the, the, this part here about the energy beyond the love pillar? So let me show you uh, this one. The key here is the period energy. I think just now we mentioned about period 8, period 9, right? So this is the universal energy that change every 20 years. And this will affect our destiny in so many different ways. All right, so regardless whether your partner child you have a wealth or don't have wealth, right? So as long you know how to interact with the energy, you understand the energy, how it works, then you can grab the benefits. Even you don't have the right luck pillar right now, because you cannot change your luck pillar. Agree? Is there? Is the is set the moment you are born? Right, but you can change the strategy you approach your partner child by using period nine information. Okay, so, and let me show you, uh, and then period nine is started from 2024. And, uh, and remember I told you, this is the official launch, right? There'll be a pre-launch starting 2017. Okay, so the goal here is we need to understand this, this information, these three lines here. This is the Li Gua. Remember just now I told you why opportunities is important because this Li Gua is fire. Something must be fast, early adopter. Now you know. Right, because I base on this information to derive uh, what ha will happen in period nine, what will benefit in period nine, what is uh, what will not be benefit in period nine. If you look at period eight, period eight, if you learn Yi Jing before, this is a Geng Gua. Geng Gua is earth element. Earth element is the most stable element. Right, they are talking about stability foundation. Yeah, so in period nine, yeah, if you want to build your foundation, probably you're already too late. So you need to start fast. You need to start today, right? So, and therefore, if I look at this from totality here, period nine energy from in 2022 is here. So you look at the, the, the tipping points here. That's why you see 
in 2022, you start to see the a lot of changes already happening, right? They're already moving to a different direction. Now border is open and all those things. And this is the time you if you want to create wealth, this would be the time you're going to do it. Uh, so because you think about this, right? Since period only changed every 20 years, how often you get to see the transition of the period while you're in an age that you can make a difference? How many times in your lifetime you're able to witness that? Right? It's not much, probably one or two or three. While you're in a in an age that you, you are you, you can be productive, you can you still can do a lot of things about it. Right? It could be two or three. Right. So therefore, you are considered lucky now you're in this period. And you notice that the level playing field, uh, the playing field already leveled in a way because uh, nowadays a lot of people have an equal chance to actually uh, become great due to the expansion of social media and technology. Agree? Right. So and I I'm going to show with you there are a few traits here uh, that I want to pay attention in period nine. And hopefully you can uh, you can plan something out. Uh, early. Okay. There are a few things here. Let me show you the first one. One thing you discover that in period nine, there will be an end of job security. Yeah. So, you know, nowadays, yeah, a lot of people, uh, a lot of companies are firing staff and all those things, right? You know, you look at better.com. Right? They're firing like eight, 800 or 900 staff over a Zoom meeting. Yeah, that's how it works. And then another 3,000 follow up after that. Firing. So, if you are seeking for job security, yeah, I would say you might be disappointed in period nine because job or job security, uh, doesn't exist anymore or it will cease to exist in period nine. So, and let me show you from partial perspective, how do we look at uh, uh, this part here? Okay. So, and um, there are three elements. Remember, direct wealth. Direct officer and direct resource. These three elements represents job security. Okay, why? Because uh, is if you can see here, this one represent direct wealth represents salary, fixed salary. Direct officer represent title, and direct resource represent benefits like life insurance. You know, like you're flying in a company, uh, maybe jet. So you have so many benefits, right? So don't you think these three things is what people after fall for the last 100 years ago. And, but nowadays, due to the changes, people don't find this thing appealing anymore. If you actually uh, uh, look at the recent research, 70% of the people willing to skip their promotion or, 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 or I would say they don't want to get promoted if they need to go back to work five days a week. They're willing to pass it up, the promotion to someone else more than 70% of people. So remember just now the direct officer represent title. That one is no longer the sought, sought after element anymore. So this is what the period nine is. So if you're still seeking for uh, job security, or maybe that is how you educate your children, you study hard, you get a cert, then you can you get a secure job for the rest of your life. I don't think that will happen in period nine. It's already happening. Right, changes here, changes there, right? You can get fired. Even you're the best, uh, I would say, employee in the company because nowadays that is a hobby of all the CEO. The moment that the profit doesn't looking good, the first step, the measure step they take is what? Firing. <laughs> this is a trend, agree? In the old days, they might say, okay, maybe I improve on the sales, the marketing, see how things work for the next few months. Now, the hobby somehow, all the CEO hobby is what? Firing if thing doesn't work out, right? So that's why it's fast. It's like fire, yeah, spread like fire. So that is period nine, okay? So I want you to know this so you don't actually harbor on something that's no longer working. But if your water element is strong, yeah, you can accept this fact easily. You got to do your side gigs, you got to build your financial freedom, you got to retire young, right? So that's the part here, okay? So now the second one I'm going to share with you here about the period nine is like this the rise of social commerce. So which means um, this element, rock wealth, becomes super popular in period nine. How many of you here just now ask about rock wealth? <laughs> right? So now finally, your time has come. 
right? The spotlight is on you right now. So this uh, is Imperial Nine Rock Wealth Element become because this represents social commerce. So which means that it's a world of influential where people buy from people that like, people that follow. So we call it social commerce. And this is huge. So if you have a rock wealth element in your chart, right? So I would say it would be a great start to have Imperial Nine because all this while people actually detest these stars, right? They say, oh, rock wealth means I don't save money. No, they become super popular because of what? Because of this. Rock wealth is the star of attention in period night. Okay. All right. So this is the one, not the DW or DO or DR. That one is the old school, right? In period nine, the wealth is come from the rock wealth. One of it, I'm not saying the only one, of course, like, is, is the time is too short for me to share with you the whole system, but I'm telling you one of it is rock wealth element. Okay. All right. So now, how do you actually apply this like this? Because you look at your own chart, right? Your own parcel chart. And then uh, the normal way to read the chart is like this. We actually uh, make it into four pillars, the year, the month, the day, and hour, and we attach a meaning to it. So if in the year, we call the network, the, the one we call the career and then the day we call the self and then the hour we call the children. Yeah? If you learned Patsy before, probably this is not something new to you. We already remember this by heart. right? But in period nine, if you want to, uh, from the lens of period nine, then you the, the meaning will change a little bit here. right? So the year pillar talking about the way you make money is from attention because attention is a new currency. Right, so the bun represents solution. The day represents your own philosophy, and then the hour represents leverage. Okay, do you want do you want to learn all this part or not? I haven't. This is something new. Yeah, so this is something new, and I I I have all this information with me. So let me share with you one of it. Yeah. Okay. Now you go. Just now we talk about rock wealth, right? So the rock wealth will be super powerful if your rock wealth resides in the year because you resides in the right palace. This one is the attention palace. How many of you here have the rock wealth in the uh, year pillar? Type the word me. Okay, all right. This is just one of it. Don't worry. We have the solution also, we can see certain star, philosophy and leverage. But just right now, I just want to know. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay. If you have it, I would say that you, 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 your chart actually possess one of the valuable star in period night. I know I haven't talked about the rest yet. Seven killing have certain uh, palettes as well, right? Each, each time gods have their own palettes, right? Now I'm just talking about rock wealth. Are you guys okay? I'm not going to talk about seven killing right now. I'm just talking about rock wealth first. Yeah, but seven killing, they have another purpose. They're on different pillar, not in the year pillar. Okay, so I just want you to know uh, this part first. Okay, so and if you if in the year pillar, I'll say it's the best. So those of you who have it, now you know what to do next. What are you waiting for? Right, remember I told you, right? Yeah, what you're willing to give up from the start. Now I'm telling you exactly what you need to do. The luck already with you. Then you might think, right? Should I look at my luck pillar? First, guess what? Do you still need to look at lock, your lock pillar first? No. Remember? Yes. No need. Why? Because this one will override the lock pillar. You can use this. I'm not saying the lock pillar will disappear. It's still there. But this one, you don't need the permission of the lock pillar to use this. Because this energy is larger. It's bigger than everyone of us here. It is actually affect the universe. Okay. All right, so some of you say, okay, you, you don't have, it's fine. You have other things you're great at doing. I'm just talking about rock wealth only. Yeah, because rock wealth used to be the, uh, I would say the punch bag <laughs> for the last 20 years. It's like a stigma, right? Oh, I have a rock wealth. Oh, shit, I need to lose money. So that's the reason I talk about rock wealth right now, okay? Of course, the rest of it, the remaining nine, they still have their own power, Okay. All right. Okay. I like to support underdog, you know? Yeah, just like sports, right? We like to support the underdog. Yeah, so that's how it goes. And um, okay, so these are, these are the parts. So how many of you here, you would like to actually learn more? 
Yeah, because all of this part here I extracted from my Millionaire Secrets playbook. So I, this is not the only content, right? There are so many more here. And um, if you, let me share with you uh, one thing about period nine. If you want to learn this, you need to remember this. I see so many yeses here. We need to act quickly when opportunity strikes. Because when everyone knows about it, it's no longer an opportunity. It becomes general knowledge. Do you feel this quote or not? Right? When everyone knows about it, it's no longer an opportunity. It's become general knowledge. Okay? Yeah, so therefore, um, if you could only learn one thing right now, right? If you only can learn one thing right now, learn wealth mastery in the new world of period night. Yeah, this is the one I I I feel that this is the most important part. So how do you learn this art here? If you like the content I show you just now, so there are one way to do this. You can get a personal coaching with Iverson. I think he liked to do a lot of consulting work because he liked to talk about wealth, business, uh, career. So we can talk to this guy. All right. So, and then uh, you can have an appointment with him. And then uh, the, this is the price that we work with our client around 2000 US dollar. All right. That's one way. And if some of you feel that you still want to learn this and uh, the price is a little bit steep for, uh, for you, how about this? How about you learn something from the Millionaire Secrets Playbook? How about that? How many of you here want to learn information from that? Whatever I shared with you just now is part of this book. Right? So, yeah, because if I do a personal coaching, I use my time to affect one people. Of course, it will be more expensive, right? But if I can teach this, I can teach to so many people at the same time, yeah, then you'll be able to leverage on everyone. Uh, time your time also are uh, also important right so you can learn this and then you can share with your family as well so we like that as well so if you want to actually do this so this is a book i'm going to compile the important information from my millionaire secrets playbook and i translate this into my program called awaken your millionaire destiny yeah, this is where the con because a lot of people ask where to buy the book. I didn't release the book because even you buy the book, you cannot understand every single words inside. Yeah, a lot of curve, a lot of strange character inside. Okay, only I can understand it. Okay, because okay, so wow, so many of you are already joining us. So this will be the live live stream of this, and we're going to close the enrollment soon, right? Wow, so many of you here. Wow, already signed up for quite some time. Nice. You see the comment box. Thank you. Thank you for all your support, right? So this one will be on 9th of 10th of April. So which means barely two weeks from now. Okay. Thank you for those already enrolled. Yeah. Thank you for your support. So if some of you want to do this, yeah, the investment cost will be 997. Okay. And then this can learn this online. So now, and what I'm going to uh, teach here, going to learn here is this one. I'm going to take the wealth principles in the new world where I actually, from my experience, from uh, the person I talked to, all the wealthy people, and they're able to combine with Chinese metaphysics, parts of feng shui and qi men. So you might think, right, hey, if, I, if I'm a beginner, we're able to understand this or not. Yes, no problem. Yeah, because this I focus on application, uh, not, in, uh, not on the technical parts. Okay, so just let me share you briefly what I'm going to cover here, I'm going to talk about the seven secrets of extraordinary wealth. And then I'll talk about the millionaire mindset installation because I think the mindset is important. Because no matter, even I give you 1 million or 10 million, if you don't have the right mindset, you might actually lose everything. Agree? Right? So I think the mindset part is also very important. And also how about upgrade, amplify, and extend your wealth lot? All right? So do you want to learn this? And how about millionaire feng shui setup? So you want to use the feng shui to support your goal to create the wealth that you deserve. And how about this? Spiritual wealth code, because you don't want to just everything about money, right? You also want to find happiness and enjoy making it at the same time, right? So, and much more. So this is what I'm going to talk about. And how about this? This is my research, uh, r and I... This is like if you want the luck pillar that is two, 20 years from now, you want to get some energy from the luck pillar that not happening yet. If you know a certain technique to able to actually um, tap into those energy, would it be cool? 
Remember your lock pillar you can look forward your 20 years or 30 years, right? Okay, maybe some of you, your 30, 20 years from now, you might actually have a direct officer, your husband's side might meet someone, but you don't want to wait 20 years. Is there a way for you to actually get those energy in advance or not? So I do some research on this because I asked that question on myself. Okay, so yeah, I want to share with you. I, this is uh, more like a beta. So it's in the research lab. I want to share with you. Okay, I, so far this one, I, I find it work for myself. So you use it as your own course, all right? If you want it, I'm going to share with you. How, how many of you here want to learn this? Not only on the future lock pillar, how about the past lock pillar as well that you already gone through? Okay, so yeah. So this one, you look, okay. So now I want you to know this. There's no poor parts of chart. There's only a poor utilization of the chart. Do you guys agree? Yeah, I don't believe there's a poor chart in the world. I haven't seen one yet but I've seen a poor, poor utilization of the chart. Okay, so, and if you, if you want this, then that, that is the investment, 997. And uh, because nowadays we have to do this online, so we're able to have some saving here. So we're going to pass up the saving for you. So instead of 997, uh, then if you want to enroll today, the price would be 397 US dollar. All right, so there's a link in the chat box and click on it to secure the link because this uh, after this webinar, I'm going to, we're going to close the enrollment, right? Because we need to prepare uh, to set up the meeting link to send to those people, you know, and all this part here. So this would be the, the, the last time if you want to enroll on this. And some of you ask, will, that, uh, will I teach this again? Uh, I don't think so because I don't like to teach the same program twice. Okay, so as you know, yeah, I rarely teach about the same thing, right? Even the same webinar, I also share with you different things, right? So if you see this is important for you, then this would be the time to do it. If you like, uh, think about this, right? Yeah, how does your life will change yeah, if you're able to provide a better financial uh, uh, capacity for your, not only for yourself, for your children, does it worthwhile to see a smile in your family face just because you do better? It's not about the money. They feel proud because you become a better person, right? And this knowledge you have here will actually help you to last for the next 20 years because period nine is about 20 years. And this will be specific on a wealth topic. And some of you, you might not be able to make it on the date. I saw some of your comment there. Then perhaps uh, there will be a replay. And again, one more thing here. There will since we're going to close this program already, so for enrollment, so we have a limited bonus for the first 50. We open this slot again because we previously, we closed it. If you join us today, you will get a limited bonus. First 50, uh, a one sponsor training. The, the title of this course here is The God of Wealth. You want to learn more about the 10 God's power, right? Yeah, so this is the one we talk about the advanced interpretation of the 10 gods that you haven't learned before. Yeah, even you are not a beginner. This is advanced training. Okay, if you already enrolled earlier on, you're going to get this. No problem. Chui Ping Eng, you ask this question, right? If you already enroll, you're going to get this. Yeah, because you're the early adopters. Right? You're the first adopter then you deserve it. In period nine, all the first adopters will get this. You're, you're the first mover here. So everyone who enrolled earlier on, don't worry. Right? Take my word for this. You're going to get this bonus. I'm more than happy to share this with you. All right? Okay. So, and some of you cannot make it to the date. This is the price. Uh, this, the millionaire program comes with the God of Wealth for the first 50 and then 397. This is a link for you to enroll. Okay? And if you are, this is, click, it's called joyab.com slash millionaire. And there's a link in the chat box as well. And if you cannot make it to the date, then all live stream events, there will be a one-time schedule request. So, and then a schedule one-time replay will be made available. Okay. When, uh, after the 30, we did the 30 days of the event. All right. Okay. This is, uh, for those who cannot make it to the date, but I hopefully can make it to the date. So we make it more, I like more people attending, right? So, yeah, then we have the, the positive energy vibe. You can ask me questions. I think it'll be fun. But just in case you're going to make it, there's always a replay. Don't worry about it. So there you go. Okay. So now, uh, you might at this point of time, you might think, right, is this something uh, right for me? 
right? So is something uh, uh, good for me or is it I'm the right person to do this? So now ask yourself this question, right? Are you committed to create a lifetime income stream that you never outlive? First question, right? Are you committed? Right? Because this is not a, something, a button you push, everything will be all right. You still need to do your work. But at least this program will show you the direction. I think that is the most important, right? So, and then are you committed to re reach financial goal quicker and retire sooner? If that is your goal, how about this? Are you committed to achieve peace of mind? I think this is very important and financial security, even you start late. This is what uh, in my mind when I designed this program, okay? So, and importantly, it's like this. You need to ask yourself, confront yourself, ask yourself this question. Are you play to win? or you play not to lose. In period nine, you need to play to win. You cannot play defense in period nine. You need to play offense. Okay, so I hope to see you here. So mark your calendar in April 9 and 10 because that's where your transformation will begin. Okay, because when we talk about things, right, it, we, we become exciting. But when we plan on the things, it becomes possible. But when we schedule it, it becomes real. Right, so if you think this is important, schedule it, mark your calendar. That's that's the guarantee you're going to attend it because you're committed, right? You are serious about it. Okay, so I will see you on nine on ten on April. So it's like two weeks from now. So all I need from you is a commitment to become better. That's it. The rest you leave it to me. All right. So there you go. There will be this uh, link here, million awaken your millionaire destiny program, and also you're going to get a bonus of the God of Wealth. Yeah, if you join today for the first uh, uh, 50 person. So there's a link. And hopefully if you decided this, you're going to do this now because as I said earlier on, uh, we will close the enrollment very soon. Okay. All right. Nice. Do you like this? Okay. So do you enjoy today's webinar so far? Do you learn a lot of new stuff? Sometimes even uh, more than certain costs you uh, you you learn from somewhere else, right? So yes, right? So yeah, because I, I just want to show you our commitment to excellence, right? It doesn't mean it's a free webinar. We're going to do this like, you know, half big kicks, you know, we are not doing that. That's not us. That's not who we are. Yeah, the team here, we are, we are, we define ourselves by the value we're able to reach out to people. And because you actually invest two hours of your time here, right? It's your valuable time. You're not going to get it back. So therefore, it's our obligation to give our best to you. Okay, so I nice to talk to all of you here today. And thank you for yeah, uh, tune in. And if you have any question, oh yeah, I promise you I'm going to answer some question. Okay, so now is, if you have any question related to what I told you just now, you can ask me. I, I might, I, I, let's do a QA and a session here. I almost forget. <laughs> if you have any question, you can ask me now. I, I, I'll do my best to answer. Okay, all right. So, and uh, let's see here. So, Jaya asked about the, the class time. This would be 7 p.m. GMT plus 8. Okay, Rafi, you, you talk to the team here. Okay, wow. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, so, so many of you. Okay, nice that you actually. Thank you for all the message here. Thank you, message. Nice. Okay, just three asks, what if the rock wealth is in the month and day pillar? It's nothing wrong with it, but it's the most powerful if you have the rock wealth in the, uh, in the year. Only on period night uh, for wealth. Yeah? Because traditionally, we don't like the, the rock wealth in the year pillar. Okay, so it's a different world right now. Okay, G Gloria asks, if rock wealth in the year hidden stem, Consider, yes, it's considered. Yeah, Gloria, no matter, as long as it's in the year stamp, it's considered. Okay, Jin Chong say, I have a rock wealth in the month, but I don't like social media. Okay, so, and uh, you say, does it mean you remain broke? No, right? Remain broke is a choice. Nothing to do with your rock wealth element in which part of your budget chart. <laughs> Okay, all you need is to find the right strategy yeah, to create value so in return you get paid. 
Yeah, that's the first thing. If I would like to help you, this is the first part I'm going to talk. I go to look into your high income skill. Okay, I'm not going to look at your raw wealth because the raw wealth in the month is not in the year. So I'm going to look at other methods. But anyway, you're going to learn it anyway, right? It's in the either of the four pillars. I need to look at your chart. Okay. Okay, Teresa Stephen asked, what if the hurting officer in the lock pillar? If you're hurting officer in your lock pillar, uh, this is a time that you need to master one skill, oral three skill, the ability to speak well and command present on stage. Okay, Teresa, this is what you must do. Okay, JB Ng asks, if my lock pillar are both yin fire, does it mean that uh, aligned to the li gua? Uh, no. Yeah. No, no such thing like thing fire aligned to li gua. You don't need to. Yeah, the one that aligned to is the action you take, where you derive from the butter chart I showed just now. Okay, alignment equal to action. Okay, Jenny Ng asks, uh, can I have the telegram? I uh, you didn't get it, then maybe later on you just go to Telegram channel, search my name Iverson Lee, then uh my channel will appear. Then you just join. All right, Jenny. Okay, let me browse through all wow, so many questions here. Okay. Man Si Chan say that uh, don't have a rock wealth in own partner chart can hop into other people rock wealth. Why not? You're smart. Okay, nice. The answer is yes. Affirmative. Okay, let's see here. Someone say uh, what should I do in a rock wealth in a year? So year is represent attention, right? So you must learn how to command attention, like how to become a great influencer, you know, become an ambassador or advocate of a brand. Okay, Eileen asks, how can I know my enrollment went through? If your enrollment went through, you receive an email from the payment provider. And but never mind, right? So Eileen, Imad, I, the team here will be able to help. They're going to contact you to assist you as as much as possible, right? To address your question, yeah. There'll be Shimo is here, Corinne is here. They're able to help you on that, right, Eileen? Okay, just uh, just message them. Okay, let's see here. Okay, Kathleen called us, if water and earth element are high, what does it mean? Okay, water element is flexible and then uh, earth element is not so flexible, right? If both also high means that, you know, there are two contradicting characters within. Sometimes you're flexible, sometimes you're not. Okay, so it means dilemma. Okay, Diana Craig asks, if not able to attend the 9th and 10th of uh, April, will there be a replay? Yes, there'll be a one-time replay for that. There'll be a request for it. Okay? Don't worry. Okay, let's see here. Wow, a lot of people interested in uh, rock wealth element. Okay, Karen asks, how do you use the sky horse in the chart? If you have a sky horse in your chart, you uh, speed is your power, is your secret weapon. Remember we talked about the early adopter, right? The first mover in the industry. Yeah, when, once you do this, you give you a, a special advantage in period nine. Okay, all right. So I think um, uh, that's all for today. And I hope you enjoyed today's program. Yeah, I share so many things, right? So yeah, it's a bit late. I don't want to hold you up for so long. Thank you for tuning in. And I hope to see you guys in uh, this, the one and the only Awaken Your Millionaire program in our uh, 9 and 10 of April, right? I'm, I'm sure that you would have a blast during this two days event. 
Okay, so till then, I wish all of you here uh, great health and the best on whatever you do for this year and beyond. Okay, till then, see you again. I'm Iverson Lee. Keep in touch. Bye-bye.